Shane and Billy. Now, yeah. listen, man. <laughs> B- Billy came out like a bat out of hell. All right? It didn't matter how many ways Shane was tagging him while they were within range of each other. Billy was throwing a lot of shots. Like, he connected here and there. Right away, he busted up Shane's nose, right? Yeah. But just the volume of punches, the 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 ferocious attack that he had for the first, what say, two rounds. The third round, I kind of make it even for both of them. Hmm. But the first two rounds, Billy was ultra aggressive. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Shane was more trying to counter punch, find find the range, get close enough to tag him and not get tagged. He was more precise. Billy, oh not Billy. Um Shane was more precise with his shots. Do you know what I mean? Not saying that it, Billy wasn't. Billy just threw a lot of combinations. Yeah. Um, listen, hey, listen, man. Um, it was a lot of strikes thrown in that fight. I mean, yeah. it was so much that I mean, Shane Vargas. Billy, throw- Billy outnumbered him though, right? Like Billy no. threw a lot. Like if we're just counting the strikes thrown. Yeah. Billy far outmatched him, but the no. strikes landed. I Honestly, think Shane had more. She, Billy threw, um, uh, Billy threw 196, right? Yeah, no, no, Billy threw, uh, he threw, um, I think was it 380 or something, 383? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, Shane Vargas threw 329, um. Significant strikes. Uh, Shane Vargas had 193. Uh, Billy had 164. I mean, headshots. Uh, 133 for Vargas. 130, 129 for Billy. Uh, body shots. 132 uh, Vargas. Uh, 28 for Billy. Uh, you know, leg kicks. Leg kicks was dividend again, again. You saw what leg kicks did. Um, oh yeah, but that's what that's what I said, right? Like in in the first little part there, I said for the first four right four fights, you know what I mean? Or the first three fights, leg kicks were very prominent in one of the fighters' arsenal to try to make the other one come down so that they can exert their dominance. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? All all but one didn't work. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, listen, the fight, um, the first round, uh, Billy came out and the pressure, the pressure was insane. He was just striking, it was just keep going for it. Uh Vargas didn't know what to do. Um he he didn't know how to figure it out in the first round. Uh second round, um Vargas he started landing leg kicks, body, and go to the head. He was mixing it up uh very well. And what's the name was still coming. Um listen, if the Chandler fight. And a Gaethje fight wasn't so good. That would have been the crazy one of the craziest fights of the night, right there. But it's because those two guys put on such a war that you know you're still recovering yeah. from watching that fight. And yeah, well, well, that's what I'm saying. Like he, on the defensive end, he he did dodge a few of the shots. But yeah. Yet again, like I said, I felt Shane was more controlled with his striking. Absolutely, right. Yeah. Billy was trying to maul him. He was trying to overwhelm him from other uh, all these angles trying to hit him. I mean, there was a little bit of wrestling, a little bit of grappling, a little bit of cage dirty boxing, but I felt like Billy was just trying to press him and swarm him so he can land that one shot, while yeah. Shane was more, okay, I, I seen him throw this punch before. I'm a counter. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's that's what I got from that fight. Yeah, and and uh, I think it was in the third round, and uh, at the end of close to the second end of the second round, going to the third, uh, Shane Vargas landed some serious strikes, had him wobble, oh, yeah. right? Um, he chopped him down with leg kicks. He knocked him down with leg kicks a couple of times. Oh, um, yeah. so yeah, uh, yes, more significant hard strikes. I think went to uh, Vargas for sure. Um, Billy was just punches and bunches and pressure. Um, yeah, massive pressure. Yeah, like like I said, from the first from the bell rung in the first round up mm-hmm. until the, we'll see, like close to the end of the second, Billy was in his face. Do you know what I mean? Front and yeah. center, he had Shane backing up, trying to find ways to defend. Right, so yeah. you know, yeah. I, and the thing is too, um, I think we all understand. Uh, I think Shane could handle Billy's power. Um, I, I don't think. Uh, 
Billy could handle Shane's power because you saw when Shane hit those very significant uh Listen, strikes. man, he had Billy wobbling, but yeah, exactly, brother. Here's the yep. credit to Billy, okay? Just like Chandler, he's a warrior, okay? He 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 took them joints. He didn't really eat them because those was the Scooby Snacks, <laughs> but he did he did um, stand up to the 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 mission. He did stand tall and make sure that it was the refs or the, the, the judges that made the decision on who won the fight. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Which, you know, Dana White says, don't leave it in the hands of the judges. But in this case, and a lot of the cases of that night, um, it was left up to the judges. People just had to go out there and, and fight. You know what I mean? <laughs> Their fight yeah. and make things happen. Yeah, I think the judges got him pretty much uh, right all the whole night, except for one I don't really uh, agree with. But we're going to get to that one. And I'll break down why. But I still understand it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know what? Um, I think it was a bounce back win for Shane due to that, yeah, he that needed phantom it. knockout. Yeah, he needed it. He needed it. He needed it. He hasn't got a win in a, in a couple of years, so he needed that one. In yeah, like a year or so. I yeah, think so I he, think he wanted to end it in dramatic fashion, but yet again, yeah. like I said, Billy's one tough son of a gun, and he's not going to lay down for nobody. You yeah. know what I mean? Because those leg kicks, like I heard some of them, I was like, Gee, Yet again, this is a casual's opinion. You know what I mean? This is me. I'm a casual. I'm not Da Vinci. Da Vinci is, is the MMA guy for sure. He loves, breathes, eats, sleeps that ish. For me now, not really knowing these fighters and just knowing them off of highlights and name and reputation, Shane seems like he's a very seasoned vet that if he gets the right fight, he can really push his name up close to trying to get that championship belt. How do you feel about that? Uh, I think he has the talent. Uh, I think he has a talent. Um, I think he has a talent. I don't, where's that? That's featherweight, right? I think I so. Remember, I think it's featherweight class there. In... Yeah, I'm not sure, but yeah, I think it's featherweight. Okay. Yeah, it's featherweight. They're in featherweight. Um, yeah, um, listen, um, he has a chance if he can rock off. Listen, he's coming off two losses to two very good guys, uh, Josh Emmett and, and of course, Edson, Edson Barbosa. Yeah. yeah. That knockout. Um, yeah, so he's coming off two losses. So this was a big win for him. Um, if he can put together a string of wins against notable top guys, um, he'll be right there. He, listen, he has the talent. Um, he has the cardio. I think he has uh, decent wrestling. Um, he has power. I mean, he has everything in his favor. It's just, listen, you got to improve all of those. Like we said, King, right? We've talked a bunch of times. You got to improve your skills, sharpen your skills, and get to the next level. Yeah, you got to update your resume, man. You yeah, exactly, because it just... Now, now for Billy, I think if Billy's more controlled, he's going to be dangerous. If he's more... I'm not saying that he wasn't controlled. I'm just... Well, I am saying he wasn't controlled, but I mean, from watching the fight, he threw a lot of shots. But some of them seemed very wild. Absolutely, absolutely, I agree with you. You know 20%. what I mean? Like yeah. they weren't, they, they weren't tight. Okay, concise. I'm throwing a three punch or three three hit combo. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It was kind of put your head down and swing for the fences, and that could work when you're fighting against an amateur who doesn't yeah. have the 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 veteranship or the gamemanship of 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 Shane. Because like I said, Shane was more precise. He was studying him as they're fighting. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he may have took a few shots, mm. you know, and like I said, his nose is busted up, but he's like, okay, I've seen this feint before. I've seen him throw through the left and the way his, his stance is with his, uh, with his right hand, yeah. he's trying to throw an uppercut and he's, you know, kind of glaze out the way and hit him with a counter. Do you know what I mean? Billy needs to be more controlled, I feel, in the next coming fights. You know what I mean? Because he's, he's still a good fighter too. Yeah, listen, yeah, I was not um, disappointed. Billy, there's a lot of things in, in Billy's favors. Um, but listen, you're right. If he tightened up a few things, listen, the way he fights, if he's going to go against, a, um, I wouldn't call Shane a clean striker. He's a very good striker. Um, but And that's why you see, even if, if uh, Billy was fighting in like a very technical clean striker, I think he yeah. would have been knocked out a long time ago. Because like you said, he goes in there, he puts his head down and he, and he swings. And... Um, He's trying to win off his pressure and break them. It's not going to work with everybody. I mean, yeah. if he's fighting somebody with the same style of his, Billy, 
yes, I think he would have won. Right? But you saw yeah, how it, 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 it probably would have been a great fight. Not saying yeah. this fight wasn't great, but, it, you know, styles make fights, right? And it just yeah. seems like at this point in time, you know. Yeah. Was it- well, yeah. Um, Before I wrap this up, listen, Um, the thing is, listen, you saw what happens when a technical fighter, a technical fighter would love to fight a brawler. Yeah. So, and, and we saw how it paid dividends for Barbara. Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And to all the people out here watching, stay cool, stay frosty, stay in tune with Bob Sports. Y'all have a wonderful evening.